We are live. <laughs> I'm David, and this is Min. Hi. And uh, we are using uh, stop lists with Ant Conk. And what we did first was we went to a place to create a stop list. We went to this complete lexical tutor. And hello. <clears throat> clicked on this. Clicked on vocab profile. Then clicked on the BNL, um, which has how many words? Millions of words? Um, no, it's, uh, it's a <coughs> word vocabulary profiler. It will show you uh, the words in the text, uh, the, the frequencies, of, uh, according to the frequencies. So yes. usually, um, if you want to take out uh, the prepositions and those empty words, these words uh, are usually the most frequent uh, words in yes. a file, so uh, we need to find out the most frequent words. So when we submit or use a text file, uh, let's copy and paste here, we're actually comparing the, um, the words here with a list, a corpus, mm. and then we can submit and then we get word frequencies according to the BNL corpus. So um. we can see that uh, these light colored words are the most frequently used words in the BNL corpus and they're highlighted in this file that we just uploaded. And you can see in red the most unique words to the file that we just uploaded. These most likely are not frequent words in the BNL corpus. Mm. B and L is not a corpus. It is a word list. It will. Uh, it, it's just a list. Uh, the the words are listed according to the frequencies. The list, uh, from the most frequent to the less frequent. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I was mixing up corpus with word list. <laughs> B and L is just a list of words. It's actually mm -hmm. not. A coherent list of words. No, mm. it's no. It is a coherent list of words. It's uh, okay. There's there's a difference between a word <laughs> list and a corpus. But right now we're just looking. We're using that list to find out which words are unique to the file I just loaded, and which words these light words here are very very frequently used words, which we from which we want to create a stop list. Yes. So what we did was. After this, we clicked on families, yes. and then we got this stuff here, and these are the most frequently used words. You can see there are prepositions and articles, and then we created, hello, hey, where are you? We created, we created a stop list, and that entailed copying and pasting this onto, hello, this file here and then doing some editing so we actually have a list of words and we call it stop list and then we go back to the AND concordancer click on tool preferences this is the most complicated part because the interface is not easy to use go to key word list and this is the most important thing use the stop list add your file so this is the stop list that we created and then where do we need to go apply okay so we applied that and then we also had to add this which entails clicking on file and then opening a file. So I opened the original corpus, this one over here. And then finally, we go to the word list, click on start, and we get uh, the most frequently used content words. Uh, so we've successfully implemented the stop list, so the prepositions and the articles are gone. So we get some more useful words, like technology, grade, support, curriculum, etc. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, we can click on these things and see how technology is actually being used in the literate, uh, in the corpus, right? And then we can also do all sorts of fancy things, like uh, sort by the words before or after the word. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to somehow use this in my research. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs>